Okay, buckle up for the shortest video you are likely ever to watch. Uh, in your lesson tomorrow, you will undertake um, a practical investigation to determine which part of the Bunsen flame is hottest. Uh, as for an aim, you can copy that from the first-hand investigation described on page 18 of your text. So rather than me type out uh, page 18 of your text, I'm going and then have you copy it off of this screen, I'm going to have you just open up your textbook and copy your aim from, directly from your textbook. Your textbook may call it a purpose, but that's the same thing. Also, copy the method off of page 18 of your text. Your text might call it a procedure, but procedures and methods are also the same thing. Now, the only thing that I would like to add, that I would like to ask you to copy down in addition to those two things from page 18 of your text, is a risk assessment. Remember that Bunsen burners are probably the most dangerous thing in a high school science lab, certainly the most dangerous thing you're going to handle in year seven. And um, for that reason, they make me really nervous. I need you to be well aware of this risk assessment and to make sure that you have taken the time to write it down in your books. First of all, the hazards are fairly straightforward. The Bunsen flame is a naked flame. And the wire gauze is going to get incredibly hot. Parts of a Bunsen burner can reach 1500 degrees Celsius. So that wire gauze that you're going to heat it, that you're going to heat with the Bunsen flame is going to get very, very, very hot. So mitigation. How do we protect ourselves and other people from being hurt? Girls, the most important thing for you is to tie your hair well back. That includes all those wispy bits at the front that may fall forward into a Bunsen flame. Boys, you need to wear an apron over your tie. Girls, you can wear an apron if it makes you feel good to wear one, um, but you haven't got long dangly ties, so you don't need to. You don't need to wear one. You can choose to if you like. Everybody, boys and girls, must wear safety glasses at all times. Also, handle the wire gauze with tongs at all times um, and only pack equipment away when it has cooled completely. So that means when you're done your um, practical investigation, you're going to need, it, need to leave it on the prac bench for several minutes so that it can cool down and be nice and cold when you pack it away. And that's the end of tonight's video.